Yes. No, don't come, it's terrible. I think you need to take a very honest look at yourself. I think university and engineering in particular are awesome accomplishments and awesome things to do with your life if you have the, the money and the time and the willpower to be able to do them. A lot is said negatively of college and that, especially in the US where it's so prohibitively expensive. But the, the science and the, the statistics are clear that people with uh, college educations earn way more money throughout their lives than non-college educated people. That's just, a, that's just a statistic. And so going to university is a good financial decision for your future self. Then doing engineering and that is even better because it teaches you the critical life skills, the underlying theory, the critical mindset that a couple of boot camps and a couple of um, online courses just can't do because it's a long uh, a degree, it's a long commitment that you have to put in to complete, computer, to complete engineering uh, and any degree actually. And that um, those skills, that kind of mindset, that shaping that you go through, I think is very valuable and is the reason that tertiary education is still such a powerful tool in today's day and age and why it's recognized by employers. A lot of um, media and that uh, talks badly about university and tertiary education and that it's not necessary. But I think the smarter your, your populace is, the better your population is. Um, the better off life is for a lot of people. Smarter people make better decisions. Smarter people are more empathetic. Um, just if, if everyone, if there's more smart people in the world, it's better for everyone in the world. And so university, I can definitely recommend. As for advice, yeah, I mean, this whole channel is predicated on um, giving university advice. So just start early, make a good group of friends, be consistent, work hard. Um, and also be realistic with yourself. You know, you need to leave adequate time for assignments. You need to be the certain kind of person that can do maths if you're gonna do a maths degree or an engineering degree. Um, and yeah, find yourself a good group of friends because that's gonna make it all go much easier. I think you need to take a very honest look at yourself. Um, if, you, if you wanna come to and do engineering because your family wants you to do it, you are not gonna finish the degree or you're gonna have a horrible time. If you're the person that naturally is like, an interesting world if you look at say a 3d printer and you wonder how does that work um, or you, if you look at various technical systems and you like you you want to spend hours or watch lots of videos about it then and you have a natural curiosity for engineering and the way the world works then i can definitely recommend going to it because you're going to go through some very tough times and if your family is pushing you to go to university they're not going to be the ones that have to sit down for multiple all-nighters and finish the assignments and get everything done so i 100 percent recommend engineering if you have a passion for it because it will be difficult it will be challenging but when you look back and see the skills you developed and what you're able to create from engineering, you will develop a very deep appreciation for that. Um, varsity in general, 100% uh, recommended. I strongly suggest going to a varsity with a strong student life though. Um, I have a lot of friends that have gone to WITS and other universities and their experience has not been nearly as spectacular as ours. So varsity is honestly a life-changing experience, but. I recommend getting away from your hometown, getting away from what you're used to because you will grow so much more than you ever think you could. Uh, personally, I like the safety of knowing I have the degree behind me. A lot of the things that we learn how to do are, are very much like fundamentals. And so you can't like jump straight into a job um, without the experience that you get in the field, basically. And you can get that experience straight out of high school. Obviously, it, it'll be more difficult and working on these sorts of things will be more difficult, but you can teach yourself a lot of stuff on your own. I like the security of having the degree, but I have a mate, we have a mate, Reese, who doesn't have the degree and he jumped straight into software development and he's doing perfectly fine. So I think it depends, you know. Um, with the internet, you can learn pretty much anything. Udemy, um, you know, uh, towards data science, I've started reading the articles. You can learn pretty much anything yourself. So I think at the end of the day, it depends on what kind of person you are. Um, I like structured learning, but if you're like a maverick, and you know what you want to do, and you know you can learn how to do it by yourself, go for it, you know. There's always time to get a degree. Yes, for varsity, not because you get a degree at the end of it. Uh, mainly because of the experience, uh, as I was explaining earlier, this holistic um, experience of varsity and everything that it entails, that I feel like really helps someone grow as a person uh, much more than you'd expect. and. A lot of people get caught up into, oh, should I go to varsity, should I not, what should I study, I don't know what I want to do. It doesn't matter what you study at varsity, most people who get an engineering degree, for example, don't go into engineering, they go work in the banks. Um, it's just go to varsity, do something that you think you might enjoy, just take the experience and enjoy it and learn and grow. I would definitely recommend varsity engineering. Um, it is challenging. Um, 
but I think it's very rewarding. So there are challenges, but once you overcome them, the reward far outweighs any of the difficulties. So especially engineering, I think it's a very valuable degree to get if you can pursue it. Um, and then any advice for more new potential engineers? First of all, just on an academic note, during the semester it can get very hectic. So work can pile up deadlines, practicals. So my advice would be is don't fall behind. Because as soon as you start slipping behind at the beginning of the semester, everything's just gonna collapse from there onwards. So just keep that in mind. And then I guess this is a bit of a contradiction, but also don't prioritize work over everything else. So thinking back over the past four years, um, most of my favorite memories have been times with mates. And I can think of days where I've had the choice between going out to like an event or staying in and working. And I can still rem remember those events, but I had no idea what I was going to be working on that night. Like that's irrelevant to me now. So, yeah, don't prioritize work over everything else. Yes, so I, I, for, for myself, my opinion, I would say Varsity was definitely worth it. Um, it has a lot of downs, but it has a lot more ups. Um, I would say the most important thing about Varsity is get yourself a very good friend group. And you know, if it, it might be difficult, and I know there's a lot of introverts nowadays, especially with how the world is, but go out, make friends, go, you know, there's so much opportunity that the Varsity give us. Go to, you know, in the first year, if you can afford it, you know, go to a hostel, go to res, you know, and get to meet people. I mean, we all wouldn't have met each other, we couldn't go to, you know, res and those kind of stuff. And even in your degree, feel free to meet people, you know, if someone struggles, or help them. If you know the answer, in the end, you know, it's a friend that you make. And I would say that's the most important. The most important thing with varsity is look after yourself and prioritize your health as well. Some days things are going to get really rough and you really, really, really have to put yourself in front. And it's fine to take half an hour to nap or even if you have to take half a day in the end. And I know you're stressed and you're going to say, yo, but I'm behind and I can't do this. I promise you, you're going to work so much better if you just take that time and look after yourself. In the end, your mental health is a lot more important than any degree. And I promise you, you'll see the results from it. When you start looking after yourself, your results will start looking after yourself. So. It would be easy to be very communicative and just say, no, don't come, it's terrible, it's horrible, it's the worst thing ever. And it is that, but there are upsides. <laughs> um, I, would, I would say I recommend university um, because of what you learn. And I don't mean academically, I mean the life skills that you learn. Um, especially people who come from sheltered environments, I think the university experience is unbelievable at opening your eyes to how the world actually is and how many different ways there are to live life and how many different people there are. Um, and if you stay in res, even more so, when you live with people of different cultures and people with different upbringings and they do everything completely different to you and you have to just be fine with it. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend Varsity for the learning experience. And obviously if you're doing a career that requires it, you should probably come to Varsity. Um, engineering? Wow. That's where it gets hairy. I didn't even know, if, like if I could go back to the beginning, I didn't even know if I'd do engineering again. Same. Um, not because it's terrible, but I think maybe because it's not for me. But I don't regret having done it, if that makes sense. Mm. I think you, engineering teaches you a lot about yourself as well. Uh, how hard you're willing to graft, how late you can stay up week in, week out. Um, how you're willing to solve problems and, and deal with all of the rubbish that's given to you to do. I think it definitely makes you resilient, if anything. Uh, so yeah, but, uh, but, but the engineering is good. It is good. If, you, if you're intelligent and curious and willing to work hard, I do think it's, it's really good. And hopefully the benefits of having done this degree like come through uh, with what I get paid eventually. Whatever, yeah, personally, I would really recommend it. Um, I know that you don't necessarily need a degree to do what you want to do, um, and I know you could get into the tech industry without a computer science or computer engineering degree, but I think it was really beneficial for me and everyone that I've been surrounded by that did computer engineering or other engineering degrees. 
um, it seemed really beneficial. Um, I think on top of just learning a whole bunch of things about software and hardware that arguably you could learn um, yourself if you, you know, just went through Google, went through YouTube tutorials, Udemy courses, it taught us a lot more about group work, uh, dealing with the hardships of working with people that you might not necessarily get on with that well, uh, working in groups with your friends where you get on with them really well but you know there's a tendency to get distracted. Um, so yeah, I think it was really beneficial. Uh, it was it was a tough four years so far and I'm sure that the fifth year for me will be tough too. But I'd say that if I had any advice it would just be to, um, to get stuck in as early as possible. Uh, there's been modules where I've worked really hard from the beginning and there's been some where I just you know drift along and get distracted and the ones that I've found the easiest are ones where I'm doing well from the beginning it takes all the stress off the, the tests later on in the semester and then you can just enjoy the content of the module and get a lot more get engaged with it more than if you're trying to just cram things at the last minute so yeah to anyone who's thinking about doing computer engineering I wish you the best it is such a awesome degree and I hope that you can get a group of friends like I had because it made it a lot more fun. Okay so I'm going to split it into two I think. I think university I definitely recommend in a South African context because one it gives you a strong even with this online thing it gives you a strong social sphere to work with. Um, I think when we go back onto campus it'll be much more of the social interaction that everyone wants and the partying and seeing people, meeting people, it breaks you out of your school ecosystem because we all, especially those of us who go to small private schools, we sort of have one idea of the world and then varsity comes and breaks that apart, which I think is really healthy. Um, and I think going to university, if I look at my friends who've gone to university and my friends who haven't, I think those of us who've gone to university have learned a lot more about challenges. <sighs> Sleepless nights and stress and assignments and click up and UP emails and these bloody lectures and this and that and this there's a sort of common struggle and it it teaches you the time manager it teaches you how to work and what to work and kind of what to expect it builds good habits I think by I think good things come under pressure and I think varsity gives you a good amount of pressure that sorts some shit out and helps you grow up a bit and maybe be more of a responsible adult or helps you flourish more as an adult I think and I, yeah I think that would be I would recommend university in that kind of sense because I think It'll help. It'll make the rest of your life easier because you you change, you build good habits while you're young. Um, and as far as engineering goes, uh, I think you need a good support structure if you're going to go into engineering, and you need to have a good reason why you want to be engineering. You can't be because of status or prestige, or yeah, I think even being interested in it is a bit of a tricky one because yeah, it, I see it now with the with the harder degrees, not just at UP. Um, all across the country there's a bit of a detachment my mom's also not doing a postgrad diploma and she says from when she was studying in the 80s and 90s compared to now people just don't give a shit anymore and i think that's quite disheartening and if you're going to subject yourself to a degree that makes you pull back to back all nighters and has you having group demos at 16 percent and that kind of stress if you're not gonna have a good reason why to do it i think that might be difficult to follow through and I think one of the big reasons why I've stayed in the degree is because there is a part of me that enjoys it and definitely having the friends and the support structure. If it had just been me, I don't think I would have finished through with it. Um, I think I recommend it if you if you really are intense on or intent on pursuing engineering and working in that field, I think especially Tux will give you a fantastic qualification because it will teach you how to throw absolutely every element of yourself at something and come up short and live with that failure and learn from it, which I think is a really valuable skill. Um, so more from a personal level, I think the engineering degree will teach you a lot on a personal level, more so than a technical level. Um, and from that, I would recommend it. I don't know if I would do it again, um, but yeah, I think university I can recommend more readily than engineering. Engineering, you have to be keen to push yourself and not be scared. Then I think you might enjoy it, but yeah. And on the advice front? What I'd give, or what advice I'd give people going into engineering or yeah. varsity. Yeah. Um, find friends immediately. You have to have people that make you realize that it's not just you versus the degree. I think that's what I realized last year. Just sitting alone at home and working on something versus sitting around other people. 
you very quickly feel like it's just you working on something and you haven't studied enough and you're gonna fail and you're stupid and you're incompetent. And as soon as you sit around other people doing the same thing, you realize, okay, either all of us are stupid and incompetent and gonna fail, or this thing is just really difficult and we're actually doing fine and we'll be okay. I think that's the biggest thing to have a support structure and maybe looking at some of the lessons I learned over this last year and what Todd and Mikey and the rest of us have, or the rest of you guys or my friends have helped me understand is, is just to throw yourself at it. You are so much more capable than you think and you're not gonna die if you fail an exam, you're not gonna die if you fail an assignment. You're gonna keep existing no matter what the degree does. And I think letting go of that fear and just giving something your maximum, whether you whether you submit the thing in time or whether you actually only start the report after the deadline or whether you work through the night on something and just plug away a little bit after a little bit after a little bit. I think trust yourself more than, than you might because you are capable of more than you think.